Um, so we found out that the quarantine is going to last a little longer. So we decided that we'd start coming up with at least a few themes so that we can have something to look forward to over the next few weeks. So we decided that the next few Mondays are going to be Movie Theme Monday. And since today is Monday, we're starting with our very first one. And we thought the best one to start with would be Frozen 2, right? Yes. We loved Frozen 2. And um, we know that a lot of you have been watching it while you've been at home. And it has some really great um, themes yes. and ideas that they talk about in the movie. We're not going to get too deep into it today because we actually have already been planning to do a yoga day with Frozen 2 and a movie night. So we're not going to do too many of our poses, but we wanted to give you a little sneak peek. So we're going to start with a mudra and a breath. And it's a brand new one that I that I um, just learned, but I thought it looked a lot like a snowflake or a crown. So I'm gonna get a little closer so I can show you. You're gonna clasp your hands together and your pointers stay together and your thumbs come out. So we think this looks a lot like a snowflake or like a crown, like Elsa's crown. And also she uses her hands for her power, so she clasps her hands together sometimes. So this is a really good mudra to do for this one. I'm gonna have a seat again. So I want you to sit up tall and hold that mudra and close your eyes. And as you're breathing, I first want you to imagine what your snowflake would look like. It can even be any color. And then imagine what your crown would look like if you were Elsa or Anna. And then imagine you are Elsa and you have powers in your hands. And you can feel the power. And I want you to take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, open your eyes and shoot out your powers. Good, let's try it again. So you can clasp your hands again, put your pointers together, sit up really tall, close your eyes, breathe in, open your eyes, let it out. Very good, nice job. You can always do your Elsa power breath now and your mudra. All right, we're gonna start with a few of the characters from the movie. We're not going to teach you Anna or Elsa or Olaf today. That will come if you join us for our yoga day for Frozen 2. But today we're gonna to start with the trolls. We think they're a lot of fun. And one thing we like to do in a lot of our yoga classes is roll back, roll forward, and stand up. And since the trolls like to roll around in balls, uh, we thought we would try this. So I want you to hug your knees together and be a little ball. Good, and you're gonna roll back, roll forward, and stand up without using your hands. <laughs> nice job, very good. All right, let's try it again. So when you're at home, you can do it as like somersaults and stuff too, but this is just a good way to actually stand up too without using your hands. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a good challenge because not everybody can do that. All right, you ready? Roll back, roll forward, and hop up. Nice job. You look like the trolls. Okay, so now we're going to be all the spirits. The fire spirit, the water spirit, the air, and the earth. We're going to start with the water spirit, which shows up as a horse. And our horse goes, we get into down dog. And we kick our feet, and you can sound like a horse going, nay, nay. Nice job. Just watch out for anyone around you. Watch out for anyone behind you. Very good. All right, the other spirit I think is so cute yeah. is the fire spirit. It's a little um, lizard. So I'm going to teach you how to do lizard pose. Just to get into it for the first side, we're going to hop out, and you turn your toes towards the center. Good, and bend your knees. Good, so it's like you're in warrior two. We're going to put our hands down. Drop your back knee, I'll turn sideways so you can see me. You're gonna walk this foot off to the side so it's not in the way, and you bring your elbows down. That's called lizard pose. I'm gonna come up on my hands just so I can see you. But I'm going to do a fire breath, since we're the fire um, element. So breathe in, and then out your fire breath. Good, nice job, let's try it on the other side. This time you can just go from your hands and knees. One knee up, one leg back, bring your elbows down, or you can keep your hands down. Your lizard pose and breathe in and fire breath. <sighs> nice job. All right, the next breath or the next element is the air element, and they like to call, I think it's a her, her Gale. Yeah, yeah, in the movie. So we decided to represent that. And she likes to blow through the trees. We're gonna do our little game that we like to play, which is wind in the trees. So you first stand in your nice tall tree and you reach up. And first, we're just going to see if we can blow in the wind without falling over. So if Gail, if the wind element was blowing around you, you wouldn't fall down. Let's try the other side. Good. Standing up tall. Find your focal point and then blow in the wind. Good. 
In our win in the trees game, you have to have someone else play with you. One of you is going to be the tree, and one is going to be the wind, the wind, the air element. So now do you want to be the tree first? Sure. Okay, and the wind element does not touch the trees. They just blow through the trees, okay? And the trees try to stay standing. So you just blow. Very good. She stayed up. Let me try it. So now it's going to be the wind, the air element. Nice job. Very good. It's a good way to test your concentration, too, yeah. right? So you get to be the wind element and you get to work on your focus. All right, the last one is the earth, the earth giant. So we've done this pose before as Goldilocks. We are going to make your legs wide and bend your knees. So with Goldilocks, we're like this. Good. We're going to be the earth giant, so you're going to have your arms big and your hands big. You're going to stomp around so you can make some noise. That's good. Good. And maybe when you, if you watch the movie, it can be a little scary at first, but in the end, do they end up being good guys? Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to tell you how it ends, but they end up being good guys. Right? All right. And near the end, Anna needs to have a sigh of relief, right? Because everything always ends okay. So I want you to reach up, breathe in, breathe out, sigh of relief, reach for your toes. Go ahead and shake it all out. And then have a seat. All right, and we've been kind of working on sometimes trying to get to our toes in a lot of our classes. So put your legs out wide. We're going to reach up high, breathe in, breathe out, reach for your toes. Go ahead one more time, breathe in, reach up, and down. Very good. Go ahead and go back into easy pose in a crisscross, applesauce. And we're going to end the same way we began with our new mudra. So you're going to clasp your hands together, but keep your pointers together. Thumbs out, bring it down. Go ahead and close your eyes. I want you to imagine a snowflake or a crown again as you breathe. Notice its color. Good. And then I want you to feel the power of Elsa in your hands again. Breathe in, open your eyes, and let it go. <sighs> nice job. All right, today we think you should definitely turn on some music and dance. And a good idea would be to dance to Let It Go or Into the Unknown, which we love that song. And it really does feel like right now we're in the unknown sometimes, but it's good just to dance it out and to know everything's going to be okay. All right, let's put our hands together and say peace three times. Ready? Peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you for doing yoga.